Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part three of the mini bike build. So, right now, I am working on charging this battery, which will power the bike. And this is where it's at right now. All right, so I got all the parts laid out. Got the motor there, got the carburetor, carburetor parts, uh, catch can, all that. Got the steering wheel, or not the steering wheel, <laughs> the forks, the uh, handlebars, um, all the stuff that's associated with the front end or wires connected or cables or whatever connected to the handlebars. Um, got the electrical lighting right there. Under the napkin, I got the chain and some bolts and uh, hose clamps and the frame. So, it shouldn't be too difficult to get this all together. So, we'll work on that right about now.
a little bit of footage, not much. You guys didn't miss a whole lot. Um, just a lot of time lapse. <laughs> um, got the motor put in. I had to drill uh, new holes in the motor mount plate because it's too far over this way. So I went ahead and drilled those, put the motor in, and that seems to be uh, pretty good. It's uh, pretty straight for the most part. Um, I do have uh, room for play going this way and that way. So that's good. Um, I still have to put the carburetor back on. Um, I got metal shavings all over the ground from drilling out the motor mount plate. Um, got the gas tank on, as you guys seen the fork as well. Um, got the uh, catch can on there. What I like about this one is this, uh, oh, there we go, this little dipstick here to check to see how full you are. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyhow, um, have to hook that up, the hose up to the catch can. A um, little bit of this and that. I have to put the uh, master link on the chain. Um, there's uh, plenty to do, uh, which of course I'll do tomorrow. Um, I have the lights. Um, uh, been rewiring the lights. Uh, I was going to use, uh, where did that battery go? Uh, I think it's over there somewhere. Um, I'm going to use this battery here. Uh, the other one, which is right down here. <sighs> I got a little uh, worrisome about this because uh, when I was charging it, it started to puff a little bit. Seems to have gone down. Huh. Ain't that something. Well, anyhow. Um, figured I'd use that one regardless. Unless I should use this one. Oh no, maybe I'll have this one as a spare. Yeah, you know, I'll just set it over here and I'll use it as a spare but I'll use uh, that battery right there I got all the connections uh, done up for it um, I'll finish the wiring uh, tomorrow um, as well as getting uh, the bolts are in but they're not tightened down so that way I can work on moving it you know around making that I get it the chain nice and tight so all that is good um, so yeah um, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow okay guys so I got this much of the bike done um, the wiring was a real pain in the butt um, had to redo the wiring uh, for the motor for the whole entire wiring harness to use the battery that is uh, that I'm using it's uh, kind of like this one here kind of like that one I was going to use this one but um, it started to puff a little bit and that kind of worried me so I used the other one that was a little bit uh, lower powered it's uh, it's not by much you know but um I still have to mount down the motor, uh, adjust a few things. I have my camera girl <laughs> working the camera for me. Um, I'm going to put on the uh, the um, tachometer here. Mm, let's see, where is my clippers now? Parent, right here. Clippers. They're old, but they work. So, snip this zip tie off of here. And let's see, yep, got the right fuzzy on there. 
So, this here, on that side, that will right about there. And then what I do is I just run this here through the spider web. Put my hand right up through there. And grab the wire. Got it caught on the on that. There we go. Okay. So this here will go all the way across through there, through here, and now the support plug. like I had one on there at one time but for whatever reason this is a real tight area to get into I mean it's really tight in there let's see I try to work my hand up in there let's see this here Get up in there and just pop that baby right off. Oop, don't lose that. There we go. Just need a little incentive, I guess, to work it up. No, I almost got it though. <laughs> Alright. this out and over here yeah yeah I had one on here at one time for whatever reason I had cut it off take that off in there then get up under here I'm kind of wondering why it was that I let me cut that off of there. Huh, weird. All right, well, anyhow. So, I want to make sure that it has the most direct straight route to right over here. That go under there. Okay. So, yeah, that's plenty. All right, or at least I hope it's plenty. <laughs> All right, now grab some zip ties. All righty. So what I do is I uh, put this right up like that. And wrap it around about five to six times. Just want to make sure that I have more than enough. Because I still have to put this uh, spark plug back on there. Just put that right there. Once I get this wrapped, I'll just go ahead and push it all down to the bottom and that should do the trick.
Boy, this thing's fighting me the whole way, ain't it? <laughs> Good God. All right, there we go. All right. Now this one, I'm going to take there. Try to want to, kind of want to make this uh, as tight as possible. Not too tight, but there we go. There, yeah. Now, snip off the ends of the zip tie. Right there. All right, now the real fun part, put it back on. One thing I know for sure, from what I can remember, because I don't mess with this a whole lot for this very reason, because this thing is a real pain. I mean, everything sits up in here like super, super tight. Fully functional though, but super tight. Try to work my hand around in there a bit. Try to do that. Ah, there we go. Feel something there. Feels like a spark plug. Come on, you. There we go. Now, if I remember correctly. Ah. I think I used one of these. And I think that's it. Let's see. Let me check it real quick. Let's make sure. Nope. Uh, nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> Once I get this thing on, I'll uh, I'll show you guys how extremely tight it is up in here. Oh yeah, that was it. Wait, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, that was it. All right, let me show you guys how extremely tight. All right, so. That's how much room I'm working with. So my finger, I mean, I got less than, less than my second knuckle there. And back here, even less than that. So yeah, it's incredibly tight up in there very tight um let's see next i'm going to tighten up this uh kickstand before uh before i end up losing it all right so i forgot to do that when i put it on there we go <coughs> There we go. That'll do. Um, let's see. Carburetor's been cleaned out. There's a little bit of goo, uh, resin build up um, on the slide as well as um, the needle. So I cleaned that all up, cleaned up the slide, cleaned up the the slide port of shaft or whatever. Uh, cleaned all this up. Got it uh, cleaned up. No more sticky resin. <coughs> All right. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me grab this here and this here. Let's see. Hmm. Now I gotta find. Uh, uh, yeah. They more than likely fell off here. Oh, yep, yeah. and there's part of it. Oh, the uh, master link for the chain. So, here's one piece, and the other piece is 
more than likely floating around down here on the floor. Dang, these things are tiny. Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay. So this here, and try to find the uh, the needle nose pliers. They are somewhere down in here. No, no, no. Which means they're going to be up here. Oh, great. I need to clean up all of this eventually. Um, let's see. There's a specific new nose plier that I use. I shaved it. Oh, oh. Just drop that down there. Oh, well, there they are. These here. And what I've done is I've shaved them down so I can get things that are really, really super uh, small. And also, I can grab these which are also super small. Oop, there it goes. You gotta keep an eye on them too, because if you don't, they'll get away from you. All right, so I believe, if I'm correct, just gotta feel for it. Yep, there it is, right there. I have that on backwards. Which of course is definitely something I would do. Ready. Right. There. There. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna move the bike forward. I also gotta um I have to uh air up the front tire on on this bike and uh, also check the air pressure on the back tire there we go see how that works and this here I can grab a hold of this really easily some of the other ones that I have they're not very good at all all right and i oh there it is yeah these things are so tricky put that one on and take this one and do remember when you put these on always have it facing the rounded part here facing on the top going this way because if not you can lose it and if you lose it, well, 50-50 that you're going to have a bad day. Let's see. Put that on there. And then, because this thing is so... It has that needle on it. There we go. And now that's on. So next, now I got this uh, adapter here and um, it's okay. Um, I wouldn't suggest getting one for stuff like this. Really a pain, really. All right, so just gotta make sure that the motor is correct on there. There we go. And work that around a bit. This is why I like using the other one. I tried using that yesterday. <laughs> Didn't work out too well. I went to using this here. I believe this is the correct one. 
for this. These little adapters, it's like, yeah. I, I want to suggest them not with stuff like this. I don't know if this is the right one. It doesn't feel like it. Nah, it's the one, one size up. Okay, oh, there it is. The motor is mounted. Let's see, that's on. Just uh, going through it now. Seeing what all is still needed. Still need to air up the front tire, but I'm not going out riding today because <laughs> it's a scorcher out there right now. It's over 102 degrees. Don't really feel like riding. Um, I do want to throw some gas in it. So, let's see. Got this can here. Wait, I can move it out later. All right, so. This one. All right, so. I could fill up this tank with this one. But if you look at the nozzle area here, just go ahead and pop that open. Very small. And if you look at this, this here might be a little bit bigger. All right, so what I do is I use this one specifically to fill up this tank. Otherwise, <laughs> I ain't gonna be filling it up. And this one here is pretty darn low. So, I'm gonna go ahead and fill her up. And I haven't used this bike in a very long time. Uh, mainly because of the the problem with the motor being off to one side. Oh, yep. There we go. That's better. That should be enough. Alrighty. Put that there. Put that one there. Uh, a bolt for a <laughs> for a nozzle uh, plug. So, and there's nothing on here to push or hold to feed the gas in. There it goes. All right, that's enough. I think enough to maybe. Our little check. Oh yeah, there we go. Eh. It's going. It's slow. Go ahead and stuff a bit more in there. Need to redo this thing there. A little bit more in here so it has. So it's basically gravity fed, like most. So, yeah, here we go. Um, check, I choke. Um, this thing's kind of loud, so. Oh, one other thing that might help. Let's, uh, let's plug up the battery, shall we? <laughs> and the gas cap. And the gas cap. Yeah, back to you. Oops. Oh, <laughs> lights. Uh, there we go. We don't need the lights on right now. Not for this. All right, so the way this thing sits, as you see, 
it's very small. It, it's very low to the ground. So, got to adjust that bolt again, but I'll do that later. It's a little on the tight side. Um, that's on, fuel's on, that's on. Uh, brake, <laughs> brake is on. guys so there we are the mini bike has been all redone cleaned up um, frames painted everything put back together working good um, and I think that will conclude part three of this four, uh, 440 mini bike build thanks for watching guys I appreciate it like subscribe leave a comment and I'll be talking to you guys real soon.